What happens at the electrodes? This is the cell, or power pack, and it supplies a DC current. On the left is the positive terminal, and on the right is the negative terminal. From the negative terminal comes a wire, which is connected to the negative electrode. And this is the positive electrode, connected to the positive terminal of the cell or power pack. Here I'm drawing the negative sign because this is the negative electrode, and here I'm drawing the positive sign because it's the positive electrode. The negative electrode is known as the cathode, and the positive electrode is known as the anode. The two electrodes are dipped into a container containing the electrolyte. The electrolyte is the ionic compound being broken down by electrolysis. In this case, it is molten lead bromide. Molten means the ionic compound has been heated to very high temperatures and melted into a liquid. The strong ionic bonds have required a lot of energy to overcome the strong electrostatic forces of attraction. The chemical formula of lead bromide is PBBr2. It's an ionic compound containing one Pb2 plus ion and two Br minus ions. The lead cations will be attracted to the cathode and the bromide anions will be attracted to the anode as opposites attract, the same charges repel. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. The hot molten electrolyte contains negative bromide anions and positive lead cations, which are now free to move. Now what happens is, the electrons flow out of the negative terminal of the cell or power pack. They flow in one direction towards the negative electrode, the cathode. Whilst the electrons are moving in the metal wire, the ions are free to move in the electrolyte, as there are no ionic bonds holding them together. Therefore, the positive lead cations are attracted to the negative cathode, and the negative bromide anions are attracted to the anode. We can very clearly see how the lead and bromide ions have been separated. Now it's time to understand what happens at the electrodes in terms of electrons? So the electrons continue flowing into the electrode. Bear in mind, this is happening all at the same time, where each lead cation gains two electrons, as a lead cation has a charge of two plus, so will gain two electrons. Each lead cation gains two electrons. We can see from the diagram how the lead cation becomes a lead atom and around the cathode forms lead atoms, pure lead, which was once bonded to bromide ions in the lead bromide. We can show what's happened at the cathode using a half equation. Pb2 plus has gained two electrons to form Pb. So whenever you're explaining what's happened at the electrodes, all you're doing is answering, has the ion gained electrons or lost electrons? And what has formed? It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Let's now focus on what happens at the anode. Bromide anions have a charge of one minus as they have one extra electron compared to protons. We can show this on a diagram looking like this, where each anion has one extra electron than a bromine atom. What happens at the anode is this electron is lost. Each anion 
loses one electron to the anode to become a bromine atom. So each bromide anion loses one electron which forms bromine atoms. These electrons lost by the bromide anions then flow towards the positive terminal of the cell or power pack. The bromine atoms which are formed around the anode are not stable as individual atoms as they only have seven electrons in their outer shell. Therefore, they form bromine molecules where there is a covalent bond between the two bromine atoms. It is now stable as a bromine molecule, Br2. To explain what's happened at the electrode, we use a half equation. The bromide anion has formed a bromine molecule and has lost an electron. To balance this, we write a two in front of the bromide anion, so there are two bromine atoms on each side, and we write a two in front of the electron to show how two electrons have been lost by two bromide anions. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. As the lead cations have gained two electrons to form lead atoms, we say reduction has taken place. The lead cations have been reduced. This half equation shows how the bromide anions have lost electrons. So we say oxidation has taken place. We started off electrolysis with ions and we have now finished off with neutral bromine molecules and lead atoms. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.